Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer, where you and I work together to help you organize different aspects of your life. In today's show, we're going to check out what's in my camera bag. So basically all the equipment that I use to produce my YouTube videos. Let's check it out. I hope you all doing well today. So to kick things off, let me just remind you that all the items that I'll be talking about in this video will be linked in the description down below to make it easy for you guys to see the exact models. And if you guys want to go ahead and purchase anything, feel free to do so. So to kick things off, well, it's the actual camera bag itself. This one here is from Lowepro. I love these camera bags. So what I like about this one is that it has multiple pockets side ones if you want to put water bottles, some nice comfy straps to strap around you. When you unzip it in the back, you have access to all these storage compartments. So that's pretty cool. You can stack everything right in there. Your camera, your mics, your uh, audio recorders, SD cards, battery packs, whatever you guys need basically for photo shoots or video shoots. In the tabs here, you also have some additional pockets to put some SD cards inside, some wires, and all that kind of good stuff. So these are great bags. They're lightweight, they're super durable. This one here is the Flipside 400AW. On my shoots, I always have a second bag ready to go. This is also a low pro. This is the smaller Flipside 200 model. And basically, this holds my second DSLR camera. Now, the camera that I usually film with is the brand new Canon 80D. And that's an amazing camera for shooting video, especially it's a DSLR camera. And my lens of choice on it is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter art series, a 1.8. A lot of YouTubers are using this lens now because it creates super crispy shots. So as I said before, the camera that I use for my main camera is the new Canon 80D. Why I love this bad boy is because of its great autofocus system, which is essential to shoot videos for YouTube. It basically allows me to continue shooting videos on my own and it follows, it tracks my face and locks onto it and follows so I never have to worry about not being into focus. Now I use the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 art series lens. This is probably one of the sharpest lens for the money. It has a great shallow depth of field to get that cinematic look with the blurry backgrounds if you want so. It produces a super sharp image with great colors. The other thing that I like about Canon DSLR cameras like this one is the flip out articulating screen. So basically it allows me to be able to frame my shots. My backup camera is the Nikon D7000 series camera with an uh, 18 to 105 millimeter lens. So this is a great backup camera for any type of B-roll. It shoots decent video, um, not as good as the Canon 80D because it doesn't have that amazing autofocus system that the Canon model has. But uh, for stills, amazing. And for, like I said, for B-roll shots, very decent camera. I have a 70 to 300 millimeter lens as a backup for the Nikon as well. For my vlogging style shoots, I use the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter image stabilized lens. This is a super lightweight, wide angle lens that um, is used by pretty much all the YouTubers who love to use their DSLRs, their Canon DSLRs for vlogging. Um, this is made popular by KC Neistat. You guys have probably seen his shoot, so this is the lens that he uses. So the good thing about this lens is that it's ultra lightweight, it's compact, and it has image stabilization built in. So it helps to reduce all that shakiness when you're shooting video, especially vlog style, because you're holding your camera and well, obviously you don't want to have a lot of vibrations. In low light situations, I like to use compact LED lights. This is for either photo or video. It's by the company called LumCube. And these little bad boys shoot up to 1,500 lumens of light. Um, you can go check out my review of them on my channel. I reviewed them not too long ago. I always carry a battery charger and an extra battery for my DSLR camera. I carry micro SD and SD card USB adapters, a USB key, always handy. I always carry extra SD cards. Trust me, you do not wanna run out of space while you're shooting video. My favorite brand is SanDisk. 
They're a bit pricier than the other brands, but these guys have amazing quality. I also have some Lexar units that are very, very good. To set my white balance, which is a feature that's super important to have accurate colors that are displayed on people's screens, I use a gray card. Now I have this uh, Joby tripod. This is amazing for the vlogging style that Casey Neistat has made so popular. Once again, hats off to you, Casey, you're amazing. Um, so basically what you do is you hook up your DSLR camera on there and you can hold it at arm's length and film yourself vlogging. It can also, the legs can be spread apart and you can use it as a normal tripod. You can tie it around things because they're super flexible and bendy. So this is an amazing company. This one is a pro model, so it's super sturdy. Next, I carry a remote to control my DSLR camera from a distance. So if I want to take pictures or start my videos, because most of the time I'm shooting alone, well, this allows me to do so. So it starts the recording or takes a picture with just the push of a button. I also always bring my trusty Apple iPhone with me. This is the iPhone 6. So not only is it lightweight and compact for any quick to shoot stuff, this is amazing to just pull out and start shooting either video or take a picture. Now to increase the audio quality of the iPhone, I use the Rode VideoMic Me. Now this is a shotgun style microphone and it's super simple to use. You basically snap it on to your phone and now you have a very high quality microphone when you do recordings, when you do selfie videos. It also comes with a furry dead cat, so that's to cut wind noise when you're outside. So you just put this onto the microphone and boom. Now, if I'm vlogging with my DSLR camera and I want better audio than what's on board the camera, I use this guy. This is the Rode Video Micro shotgun style microphone. Now it comes with a hot shoe mount. So you basically just stick it on top of your DSLR. So it goes right on top of there, just like so. You plug it in and again, this increases the audio quality by a lot. Now to cut down on vibrations, this mic is mounted on a shock mount. So to prevent any vibrations from being picked up by the mic. Now for the best of the best audio quality, I use a lapel mic. And this one here is the Sennheiser AVX wireless mic system. This is broadcast quality audio and it's used by a lot of professionals. And all my audio gets recorded onto this Zoom H5 external audio recorder. Now this guy has better preamps than what come into the Canon 80D. So basically less noise in the sound and a higher quality audio. I also carry a battery charger. This kit here is from Apple. All of y'all who shoot video or even take pictures know just how important having juice is. So you guys need your batteries and your external battery packs. I like traveling, and when I'm in another country, I like to use a universal adapter, which has all sorts of plugs built in. My tripod of choice is the Manfrotto 055 series tripod. And on it, I use a video head also by Manfrotto. So that pretty much sums it up for everything that I put and carry with me in my camera bag. I'll leave some less expensive alternatives for y'all in the description down below if you wanna check it out. In one of the next videos, I'll actually show you guys how to start your own YouTube channel and how you can actually start shooting and editing your video to put your ideas out there for everyone to see. So that's it for today's show, guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please leave your comments in the description down below. Follow me on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, always remember to keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you guys on the next one.